In this session, we'll talk about Salesforce Genie and what Snowflake and Iceberg have to do with it. The big announcement for Dreamforce 2022's keynote address was Salesforce Genie, a new data platform powering the world's first real-time CRM. With Genie, you're able to provide a single source of truth for real-time Customer 360 data. It's been said that Salesforce Genie is the most technological shift for the Salesforce platform in the past 25 years. What does Salesforce Genie architecture look like? Before we explore that, let's first look at the Salesforce core platform architecture. At the bottom of the architecture is the Salesforce transactional data. If you're familiar with Salesforce, this would be data like account, opportunity, lead, and case data, as well as any custom object data. Above that, you'll see the unified metadata dictionary layer. This is where data integrity is enforced. For example, you must enter a number into a field designated as a numerical value type. The security and access control layer ensures that data is only visible to relevant users in a specific organization. The Einstein layer is Salesforce's artificial intelligence layer. Above Einstein are the top three layers where end users will interact with Salesforce. And of course, as we know, there are extensions and customizations possible with the Salesforce platform. Now let's look at what the architecture looks like for Salesforce Genie, a hyperscale platform. You'll see that Salesforce has embedded a new data lakehouse layer to its platform, which stands beside the traditional data layer. By adding a new data lakehouse layer, Salesforce gives you the ability to store significantly larger volumes of data. Since the layer is embedded in the core of the platform, it is possible to use data to drive automation and run queries. Also, it is possible to use data pipelines to prepare new data sets without the need of any ETL. And you can connect this data to Salesforce BI applications such as CRM analytics and the Einstein AI layer. So how do we get data into this layer? We can bring in data directly using real time and batch ingestions. We can also bring in data through a bring your own data warehouse methodology. Salesforce Genie has made it so that you can now act on data that doesn't reside within Salesforce. This is important because sometimes data that is needed to complete the customer 360 view resides outside of Salesforce in a data warehouse or another data lakehouse. In those cases, it doesn't make sense to create a physical copy of the data when it's already easily accessible in another way. But how is this possible? It's possible because of secure data sharing. At Dreamforce, when Salesforce Genie was announced, it was also announced that Salesforce and Snowflake have expanded their partnership to include real-time data sharing. Data sharing is possible with a variety of different data warehouse providers, but Snowflake is Salesforce's chosen partner for data sharing with Genie. So the next question is, what exactly is Snowflake? Snowflake offers a cloud-based storage and analytics service, generally termed data as a service. Snowflake is incredibly fast, flexible, and user-friendly, and it can be used as a data warehouse or a data lake. Snowflake is considered to be a great example of a best-in-class data warehouse and data lake engine. From this diagram, you can see that one of Snowflake's workloads is data collaboration, which is also known as data sharing. Snowflake makes it easy for users to access live data in a secure and governed way. And Snowflake's first introduced data sharing in 2017 and is the leader in secure data sharing. As such, it's no wonder that Salesforce chose Snowflake as a partner for Salesforce Genie. At Dreamforce, it was announced that Snowflake is Genie's strategic partner to provide open data access and that Snowflake is Salesforce's marquee partner for data sharing with Genie. And one other important thing they talked about was how Iceberg is the key to Genie's openness. The next question is, then what role does Apache Iceberg play into how Snowflake provides open data access to Genie? To answer this question, we really need to understand how data is stored so we can better understand how we can make open data access a reality. 
There are many different ways that data can be stored in the cloud. For large data sets, Parquet is preferred because it can greatly speed up data analytics. One of its other benefits is that Parquet is an open source format. Parquet is an excellent file format choice for storing large amounts of data in the cloud, but to use Parquet file storage, we still need a table format. For that, Iceberg is a great choice. Iceberg is file format agnostic, so it can handle different file format types. It is also engine agnostic, so you can use Snowflake, Dremio, or any other data lake engine. By using Iceberg, you're not locked into any particular file format type or any specific data lake engine. The Iceberg project is also a well-run open source project, and the Iceberg open table format includes features that aren't free in other table formats. Iceberg open table format is the key to any open data strategy. Salesforce Genie was not designed with the purpose of being a data lake engine, so it needs to rely on a data lake engine like Snowflake, which can take advantage of the Apache Iceberg open table format. Let's take a minute to summarize. Salesforce Genie now includes a data lake house. That data lake house can store infinitely more data than before by bringing into Salesforce all sorts of data in real time or by using batch ingestion methods. There is some data though that is needed to complete a customer 360 view and it already exists elsewhere in a data warehouse or another data lake outside of Salesforce. Some of that data also exists in a format that can't easily be loaded into a Salesforce lake house or accessed by Salesforce Genie. For data that already exists elsewhere, it is now possible to create a data sharing connection such that there is real-time access to the data without the need to copy or move the data. For many reasons, Snowflake is the preferred way to create that data sharing connection with Salesforce Genie. For one thing, Snowflake can natively handle certain data types that isn't easy for Salesforce to store and process. Apache Iceberg is the open table format that a data lake engine like Snowflake uses to easily access that data from file storage locations and then share the curated data with Salesforce Genie's lake house. And that is how Genie is able to provide a single source of truth for real-time customer 360 data. I hope this explanation was helpful. I invite you to watch my next video, The Beginner's Handbook for Using Apache Iceberg with Snowflake. And I look forward to hearing from you. You can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn, as well as on YouTube.